This is a, what year is this? One year away from being classic in the US, I think. Mitsubishi. Oh, I keep doing that. Why do I keep doing that? You know why? Because Lantis sounds like Lancer. <laughs> yeah. Oven sounds like oven, and that doesn't work, man. <laughs> 1993 Mazda Lantis. Its defining feature is the engine that the MX-5 never got. Because Caswell went on this, what was that rant you went on? Like, if only the MX-5 had this engine. Yeah, me, me and Caswell both share that rant, definitely. Because it would have been fantastic. It's like as light as the MX-5 engine, sounds better, makes much more power. I never did it. This is the same Mazda Lantis that Farad, Matt Farad drove uh, when he was here three years ago. I think it was three years, yeah, ago. years ago. Yeah. Uh, in stock form. Now I get to drive it in uh, stripped out, super leggera, uh, lightened new engine with yeah. different headers, different intake? Uh, headers and exhaust, that's all it's got. Um, and half the miles on it, which is the main thing. Mm hmm. Uh, cool, I like that the dead pedal's still there. That's going to help. Mm. Yeah, it helps you work it where your foot's meant to go. At least. Now, I've been driving in New Zealand for nigh on two weeks now, so I think I'm getting pretty good. Okay. Come on first. Yeah, it's a bit picky. You just slam it in there usually. Really? Slam it? Uh, give it a go. Nope. Okay, How about let out the clutch a bit. There yeah. we go. So we got first, second, third, fourth. We're not really going to use fifth. Reverse if I need it, like that. And my turn signals are here. And do not self cancel. Ah, like a motorcycle. Yep. So I can't see out the back really, and there is no mirror here. So electric mirrors are just moving with your hand. Moving with your hand. All right. Good enough. I heard what this thing can do on the way. I watched uh, Cat. Sorry, Andrew driving. <laughs> this is front wheel drive. Yep. Uh, in kilowatts, we'll do the math at the bottom of the screen. How many kilowatts? Uh, about 135, I think. Okay, I'll do the math in the head what that's making. All of them are near the top end, near 5,000 RPM. Does the steering column adjust? Uh, nope, not cool. Uh, all right. Well, at least I can get my fingers under there. When I'm just tooling around like this, I feel heat coming in from somewhere. Yeah, there's various holes in the floor pan that need to be fixed. <laughs> okay. It's making a bunch of noise, but it really, as of this moment, only really feels like, well, an MX-5, really, that I'm being, that I'm dawdling around. But on the way, uh, Andrew said that it really comes alive below five. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to attempt and try to keep my bravery up on these New Zealand roads. So enjoy the sound of a 2 liter V6 with a red line of 7,000. I don't know, I forget how wide these corners are. It's almost like coming off the throttle, it's like the brakes kick on. They don't, but I guess that's just the lightness of the car just bleeding its own speed. Yeah, a bit of compression braking. There's a guy up there, I don't want to deafen him. I was worried when I was in the passenger seat when Andrew was driving, but here... Third 
gear, best gear. Oh yes. <laughs> swiftly and I'm still below the speed limit <laughs> yeah. of 80 kilometers an hour on this tight road. We're quite generous with our speed limits here. It's beautiful. Sorry. Oh, house. <laughs> Did you rent the ship then? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm steering with my dominant hand. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>